is it the right time to make a move on SoFi stock? Today, we're delving into SoFi with a comprehensive analysis. Our initial report was released on Thursday, March 14, 2024, and now we're back with even more detailed insights. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications to stay in the loop with our latest updates. Stay informed about any developments that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our cutting-edge AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 on StockInvest.us. Harness the potential of AI for free price predictions and in-depth analysis on 25,000 companies globally. Please remember, this video serves purely informational purposes and is not to be construed as financial advice. Since March 5, 2024, our system has identified SoFi as a sell candidate with a score of minus 3.82. Now, let's analyze the stock's performance over this period. The stock saw a decrease of minus 3.03% in value. On average, this translates to a daily loss of minus 0.38% since being labeled as a sell candidate. The stock is currently situated within a broad downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decline. Over the next three months, the projected trend shows a possible minus 15.22% change, with an anticipated return falling between minus 23.29% and 6.22%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, there is a forecasted 20.88% change, with a potential return ranging from 13.12% to 120.10%. This translates to a price range of $7.97 to $15.52 by the end of the year. Our latest update on SoFi reveals that the stock price experienced a 4.47% decrease on Thursday. On Thursday, March 14, 2024, the SoFi stock price dropped from $7.38 to $7.05, marking a fourth consecutive day of decline. Throughout the trading day, the stock price fluctuated by 5.15%, ranging from a low of $6.99 to a high of $7.35. Over the last 10 days, the price has fallen in six instances, resulting in a total decrease of 21.49%. With a trading volume of 67 million shares valued at approximately $470.38 million, there was a notable increase in volume despite the falling prices, suggesting a potential rise in risk over the next few days. Looking back at the past 52 weeks, the highest recorded price for the stock was $11.70, while the lowest was $4.45. Currently, the price stands at 39.74% below the 52-week high, amounting to a $4.65 difference, and 75.05% below the all-time high of $28.26 on February 1, 2021. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, March 13, 2024, Wedbush rated SoFi as underperform with a hold action. On Wednesday, March 6, 2024, Wedbush rated SoFi as buy with a hold action. On Wednesday, March 6, 2024, Morgan Stanley rated SoFi as underperform with a hold action. On Wednesday, January 10, 2024, Deutsche Bank rated SoFi as hold with an initialize action. On Wednesday, October 18, 2023, Keefe, Bruyette and Woods rated SoFi as market perform with an upgrade action. Analysts have rated SoFi stock as a general buy. They consider the P-E ratio and price to book as strong buy. The return on investment receives a neutral rating from analysts. In terms of signals for SoFi, the current outlook is not optimistic. Sell signals are prevalent from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a negative forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a general sell signal from the relationship between these averages. Resistance levels are observed at $7.45 and $8.08, .08, with potential buy signals if these levels are broken. A recent sell signal from a pivot top point has resulted in a minus 22.95% decrease. The three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, also indicates a sell signal. It is worth noting that volume rose on falling prices recently, suggesting a need for closer monitoring of the stock's performance. 
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 13 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 13 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 10 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 9 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 6 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 9 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 9 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 20 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SoFi The stock currently lacks support from accumulated volume below today's level, indicating a potential for poor performance in the coming days. SoFi exhibits high volatility, with a significant prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, making it a high-risk investment. In the last trading day, the stock fluctuated $0.360 or 5.15% between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 4.27%. Let's start by discussing the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, which compares a company's share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates a company with negative earnings or financial losses. While downturns are common, sustained negative ratios could suggest financial instability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on, the upcoming Q1 2024 earnings report is scheduled for May 6, 2024, with analysts' consensus estimates set at $0.0100. It's important to monitor these figures closely as they can significantly influence stock prices. Let's dive into potential day trading levels for SoFi. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for SoFi stands at $7.27. If you're looking to enter a position, consider waiting for this level to be breached. Existing stockholders might find this level suitable for swing trading. With no significant support from accumulated volume below, the stock could experience a sharp drop under certain circumstances. Exercise caution and contemplate making trades if you're an experienced trader familiar with handling such scenarios. The combined average rating for SoFi from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's delve into some recent insider trades. On March 11, 2024, White Derek J conducted an insider buy of 544,663 shares of restricted stock unit. On March 11, 2024, Richel Jeremy conducted an insider buy of 605,181 shares of restricted stock unit. On March 11, 2024, Pinto Arun conducted an insider buy of 726,217 shares of restricted stock unit. On March 11, 2024, Noto Anthony conducted an insider buy of 2,178,650 shares of restricted stock unit. On March 11, 2024, Lapointe Christopher conducted an insider buy of 847,253 shares of restricted stock unit. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 24.433. Overall, insiders purchased 9,781,552 shares and sold 6,741,706 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is SoFi stock a good buy? SoFi currently shows negative signals and is in a declining trend, indicating potential weak performance in the near future. Our evaluation of this stock is negative. Based on our analysis of recent price movements and volatility, we consider the current price to be undervalued. For trading on Friday, March 15, we anticipate SoFi to open up at $7.13, experiencing an increase of $0.0800. Before making any investment decisions, it's crucial to remember that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. It's strongly recommended to consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. 
please refrain from solely relying on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment actions. We're sharing our current view on this stock. Share your thoughts in the comments, do you agree or disagree? Let us know your target price for this stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading from all of us at Stock Invest. Have a great day.